peace and love to you, family. Thank you for checking me out. Hello, my queens. Hello, my kings. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I guess you're thinking, why aren't you showing your face, huh? Yeah, no. Your sister, uh, allergies flaring up. So my eyes are a little puffy. I've been rubbing them a lot. They might not look that bad to you. I ain't even put no makeup on them, but anyway. But they are a little, you know. They are a little puffy and um, getting a little red due to me rubbing my eyes a lot. But anyway, this message, message is not about me. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing a video today. I decided to do one um, because there is a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on in the conscious community um, here on YouTube, period. You know, there are a lot of people that, have, that has a lot of um, viewers and subscribers, and the majority of them are a lot of uh, truth seekers, uh, people who are putting out info, info as far as I consider it real news. But um, it's basically the kind of news that, that you wouldn't hear from CNN, shall I say, uh, or you wouldn't hear from your local news, you know. Um, but these people are being censored um, due to the info or the knowledge that they're dropping, and uh, which helps a lot of us because had they not have put the information out, we wouldn't know, you know what I mean? Um, had not many of them that had large... Um, viewers and, and subscribers had, you know, certain ones had not put out about the mess in D.C. Um, you know, uh, Melanin sisters. Um, you know, I, I would not have known anything about it. You know, because uh, I live in North Carolina. You know, I didn't know anything about, you know, so many, um, you know, young, you know, um, black, um, I call them Melanin, you know, uh, sisters, sisters, as well as Latino sisters that are missing in um, D.C., you know, and um, they act like it's no big deal, you know, which I know and you know that there's more to it with all this, you know, uh, organ harvesting that's going on. But anyway, um, they, they just pretty much trying to brush it off, you know, as though it's just, oh, you know, they just, a lot of them are runaways, and a lot of them are runaways, yeah, but where are they? If they're such runaways, where are they? How come they can't find them? But anyway, um, my videos, family, uh, for the most part, um, when I name them for your need to know, um, that's my way of trying to drop some knowledge to you or some info to you, um, so my videos won't be flagged or, you know, or... YouTube won't make a big deal about my videos because, you know, um, whether you know it or not, many of you do sense the truth that be coming out of my mouth. And um, I don't really have um, a lot of, you know, subscribers like a lot of people do. You know, mine is basically almost close to a thousand subscribers now. And I've only been doing videos for two years. And I never really cared about how many subscribers I've had. My thing is I care about the viewers and I care about their one or that two you know, that's actually listen to me, and they are benefiting from the jewels that I've been dropping. That's all I really care about, you know. Um, do some of my videos have um, monetized, monetized, do some of my videos have ads on them? Yes, those are ones that have a lot of viewers on them. But all of my all of my videos don't have a lot of viewers on them. Um, I, whether I have a lot of viewers or not, I'm still, you know, dropping those videos, you know. And something's on my heart to speak about, I speak about it, Period. I know somebody can benefit from it, and uh, especially when the Holy Spirit hits me and it's something I need to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. But um, for those who do have large viewers, um, you know, this is temporary inconvenience for permanent improvement. And I always say it's always a test, you know, it's what you do. You know, a lot of them are planning on pulling out. Because, you know, for them, it's about the money. They putting time in these videos, trying to, you know, have quality videos for the viewers. So it's about the money for a lot of them. Even though they're trying to drop their knowledge, it's still it's still about the money. You know, so a lot of them, you know, are dropping, are planning on dropping out of YouTube and start their own website. 
Um, and I judge nobody, you know, everybody do what's best for them, but I'm going to continue on pressing on because I know it's a bigger picture and I'm basically trying, to, I'm basically trying to weather the storm family, you know, um, it push come to shove and I have to have my own website. It's no problem. I just have my own website, but for right now, you know, uh, I'm going to keep on pressing on and be about my father's business. And if he's put some something on my heart to talk about, I'm going to talk about it, family. Because a lot of you know, I'm always speaking from my testimony, all right, my experience, period, all right? So um, with that being said, um, um, I, so anyway, so this video will be called For You Need to Know, number 13. All right, and with these kind of videos, I, I talk I talk about a little bit of everything, you know, whatever's on my mind. That's what I talk about. So you'll uh, hear me going from one subject to the next. Um, I do my best not to keep this video long. Um, I just want to speak on certain topics that's on my mind, but um, I will be saying this, you know, for a lot of us who have who have had a spiritual awakening, you know, it's easy for us to get to that point to where we're meditating and we're lighting up and we're seeing through the veil and we're actually having a experience, all right? Whether it's negative or positive, you're still having an experience, you know what I mean? And for those who are lighting up on the inside and you're seeing those higher, higher realms and you are retrieving uh, information, whether it's telepathically or whether it's, you know, uh, based on um, you're seeing images, um, 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 just symbols or whatever the case may be, um, you're still uh, receiving information, all right? I know this to be true. Um, but the thing about, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, uh, it takes me back. I remember when I used to go to church, and, and um, this was like during the time where it was just really hitting me. You know, I feel like, you know, um, I need to... Now, I'm speaking for myself, all right? I'm not bad mouthing all church. I'm just speaking for myself. I got to the point. Now, if anybody is offended by just looking at my face, my mouth, and all of this, um, just turn to the side. I'll put your earplugs in, all right? Um, this is one of those videos you can just listen to me. You don't have to be watching my lips or any of this and all of that, you know? Just turn to the side. Put your earplugs in. It's all good. I love you anyway. But anyway, I remember there's been times when I would be sitting, you know, out there and, you know, hearing the pastor, you know, preaching and I'm looking around and everybody, you know, feeling good. You know, they're hearing the word and they're getting all excited, feeling good on the inside. And something would hit me and I'm like, wow, I'm like, you know, uh, we all are sitting in here lighting each other up. And what I mean by that, we're feeling good. We're being fed the word. And I'm thinking to myself, now this is me. I'm thinking to myself, wow, you know, there's there's all this information that we are receiving, and we're and we're feeling good on the inside, you know, that spark that's within us, you know, we're feeling good. We're we're lighting each other up on the inside, you know. I'm I'm sitting up here, sitting in the, sitting, you know, out there, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm looking back, and I'm looking at the door, and I'm like, wow, you know, we should be taking this outside the door. You know, taking this outside the church, you know, not sitting up here in a box. Little did I know what I was really thinking, you know, because what is all said and done, that's what church is, is a box. Uh, just like this, you know, 3D box that we, that we have been all been living in. But anyway, um, you know, church has its place, you know, but I feel like once you get what you need from it, you know, it's time for you to expand and uh, share what you know, you know, especially your testimony, because it can be a blessing to somebody else. Um, not just stay inside that box and just light each other up and feel good and say to yourself, well, I've been to church, you know, uh, you know, I've been fed the word, you know, this will get me through this, this will get me through a whole week and then so I can be, you know, refed again on Sunday. You know, uh, I got to that point, you know, and I was, and that's how I was looking at it. But I got to that point, no, 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 you know, there, there's a bigger job, you know, uh, there's a bigger purpose than us just sitting up in, in here every Sunday, you know, uh, feeling good, being fed the word, and going back home and, you know, going about our own, you know, uh, daily lives, you know, and coming back to church. There's a, there's a bigger, you know, 
you know, there's a bigger purpose. You know, it, it's not just church. You know, the work is outside the church, not within the church. And I came to this realization, and like I said, there's more to it. But, you know, like I said, you know, the way I was seeing it, we were just, we were just lighting each other up in church, just feeling good, you know. Um, and, and, and there's so much that we were receiving in the church need, need to be, you know, shared outside of the church, you know. Um, so that's the realization that I had came to when I was in church. And um, and then I thought about Christ. For those who are Bible readers, I thought about Christ, how he had 12 disciples. And family, you know, when you look at the big picture, you know, Christ was very enlightened. And, um, you know, he wasn't hanging around those who were enlightened just like he was. You know, he, he was seeking those. Not only was he enlightened, but he was vibrating on a higher frequency as well. That's why that's, that was that's another reason why he was able to tap into those realms, and um, you know he would step away, you know, from his disciples, you know, and do it, you know, as far as making contact with the higher realms, you know, communicating to the Father, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is he wasn't really hanging around those who were like him. He actually he was hanging around those who were opposite of him. You know, when you look at all the disciples, all of them had issues. I mean, read the word for yourself. All of them had issues. You know, all of them had a background of being someone that you really wouldn't even want to hang around with. But he was hanging around them because he was trying to make a point. Basically, anybody can change, you know. Uh, anybody can go from vibrating on a lower frequency to a higher frequency. It's all a matter of choice. It's a matter of renewing your mind. Because, you know, that was me two years ago. I was vibrating on a lower frequency. You know, my heart wasn't right, and I was thinking negative. But look. I renewed my mind, and I started mastering myself. I started getting in the Word, started reading the Word, believing what I was reading, and exercising the Word. And look at your sister now. I'm having such an awesome experience. I'm not even the same person that I was two years ago. But that's my testimony. You know, not only was I, you know, you do read the Word, but you got to exercise it as well. But, um... I'm just saying, you know, when you look, when you read the word and you look on his life for the time that they was, well, like I said, you know, it, it doesn't really go in depth as far as there's a lot of missing years also in the world. So we know that's been taken out for whatever reason. But anyway, you know, we all know that he was hanging with the, with the disciples, but and they was learning by and by, by hanging with him, and he was teaching them things, and he was speaking in parables and all of that. But, you know, they were still asking him questions because they really wasn't spiritual. You know, he was spiritual. And the only way you can understand, you know, spiritual meat, it, you have to be spiritual. And you definitely must have an experience to, you know, resonate with what he was saying. Um, but, like I say, you know, the real work is really outside the church. Uh, just why, that's why I love Christ because, you know, uh, you didn't have to pay just to, to uh, receive the word. It was free. You know, he was walking around, you know, trying to reach those who are lost, walking around trying to reach those, you know, uh, they need to be fed. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, it's easy to hang around those who are like you. You know, uh, it does feel comfortable being around those who you know, are on a higher frequency like you because you can relate to them. But, you know, I came to understand that, you know, family, um, we also need to be about our father's business and the things that we have learned based on our own testimony, our own experience. You know, we didn't, we need to make our own videos and, you know, speak from your perspective, from your experience, because that's going to help others, you know. Sit up here holding on to the knowledge that he has given you and he has blessed you with these gifts, you know, it's, it's it's like a waste. It's it's like a waste if you're not using it. And I don't mean just using it for you, but using it to help others. You know, don't worry about the naysayers. You know, if there's no, you know, if there, you don't ever, have, if you don't ever have a naysayer, you know, you you ought to question yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because the enemy, when you start speaking that light, the enemy don't like it, don't like it, and he's always going to try to to discredit you. But your truth and your testimony, there is no debate. There is no debate when it comes to your experience and your your truth. There's no debate. But um, I was just thinking about a family. That's all. I was just thinking about, you know, um, how he stood out. You know, uh, he was all about um, seeking the laws and healing as well, and also teaching, trying to enlighten. 
trying to enlighten um, his disciples as well as anyone who came across him, you know, speaking that knowledge, you know. And um, that's what we all should be doing as well, you know, because none of us know when our time is up, you know. We look back on it, you know, what have you been doing all this time, you know, being on this earth breathing, you know, got your health, your strength, you know, what are you doing? Just constantly watching Atlanta Housewives, just constantly watching hip hop, you know, uh, Atlanta hip hop, whatever, whatever you call it, and all the other hip hops, you know, those people, they don't care about your family. They don't care about you. All they want to do is get paid and do whatever necessary means to get paid, all right? Even if they mean sell their soul, that's what they're doing. They don't care nothing about you. And they're willing to act ugly and do anything for the love of money. And that's what's going to keep their vibration low and also keep them on the lower realms if they don't change. Many of you hear me. Many of you don't. But I love you anyway. So basically, um, that's all I wanted to say, family. You know, um, you know, it's good to fellowship together and um, lift each other up. And, um, you know, cause like I said, it feels good to be around those who are like you, those who you can relate to. But, you know, um, don't like I said, don't worry about what people think. You know, if you have to, you know, to be speaking to those who are not like you, and, you know, do it. No, don't worry about them, you know, cursing you or saying you crazy or saying you on crack. You know, you, you've done your part. At least you put it out there. Because it's always that one that's listening. Please know that. It's always that one that's listening. All right? And the things you do in the dark, the most high God shall reward you in, in the marvelous light. That is so true. That is so true. Just do things for the right reason, family. Do things for the right reason, because that's what I'm going to continuously do. I'm not going to worry about, you know, um, the power that be or whatever, YouTube, you know, whatever that, that they're going, whatever that they are doing right now as far as messing with people's videos. I'm not worrying about them, um, you know, censoring my videos. I don't care, you know. It ain't about the money, you know. It's about doing what's right, you know, because, um, you know, if we just stop just for the love of money, you know, obviously we were doing it for the wrong reason. So uh, that's all I want to say. I think since I've been on here, what, two years, I've only asked for money once, and that was to help me as far as uh, to have, like, quality video. And I think out of all my subscribers, only two people actually, you know, donated to me. And, I'm, and you know, at first I was feeling some type of way. I was like, dang, you know. Uh, I know good well, you know, they show me all this love. Don't don't nobody care, you know, to send this to a dollar or something or five dollars. But then, you know, the Holy Spirit hit me. I got a reality check. You know, um, when, all, all you can do is ask. That's what the word say, ask and you shall receive. If I don't receive, I just don't receive. But looking back on it, I received something so much more. The Most High God, you know, uh, blessed me with more gifts. You know, here I am asking for, you know, money, you know, to help me as far as me having quality videos. But he blessed me with something even better. Bless me with something even better. Something he blessed me with so much more. That's the point I'm trying to make. So, like I said, it's not it's not about the money. And for those who did, you know, um, sewing into your sister, as far as you know, you enjoy you know the information that I have been giving you. You enjoy me sharing my testimony, my experience. I thank you. I thank you. Even if you didn't, you know, donate, you know, you still sending me your love, your light, and encouraging me to keep on striving. And I appreciate you. I really do. And for the, those who check me out, they don't, they don't even say a word. But you know, you um, still check me out for whatever reason. I thank you too, because I know you're listening. I know you're listening. Well, anyway, um, I'm sorry if this video wasn't all that deep, deep, deep. Um, I just really wanted to just drop some knowledge on your family, give you something to think about, you know. Uh, when it's all said and done, do things for the right reason, all right? Just do things for the right reason and think about those who are not um, like you or where you're at right now. You know, keep speaking to your brothers and sisters who are, 
you know, um, that you feel is vibrating on the lower frequency. Keep speaking to them. Keep dropping that knowledge. Keep dropping your experience and your testimony, all right? Because believe me, you're going to reach that one. Somebody is listening. Peace and love to you all. Bye for now.